Hey, welcome back to the Gun Doc Shop. Uh, I told you I'd be on here yesterday, but had to take apart the dryer, so um, ate up <laughs> most of the night. So here we are. Um, I wanted to show off the SBR field stripped and show you how dirty it is. Get it cleaned up tonight. Uh, take it out to the range in the morning. Um, definitely push it out to 100 yards, see how accurate it is, and then um, start pushing it out little by little. Um, trying to reach that 300 yard point. Here's the SBR field stripped, um, basic field strip, hand guards off, um, off the barrel, buffer spring and buffer out, uh, bolt carrier group uh, broken down, all separated there. Um, if you want to take a look inside here, that's not too bad. Um, some carbon buildup in there. Um, yeah, so we're going to use the Vulcan. Um, carbon killer and we'll get this um, squared away and then we'll take it out to the range tomorrow and I'll have some short videos of range time tomorrow. So I cleared the bench here real quick. I just wanted to show you this uh, Springfield XD 4 inch and 40 Smith & Wess with the Streamlight TLR6 um, red dot and light mounted on the rail there. So this is um, a debated caliber. Um, as some of us may know, the 40 caliber was originally developed for the FBI um, when they were looking for a better round um, with more stopping power. Um, obviously we figured out as the army did with the 1911 that the 45 ACP um, was a much heavier round with a lot more stopping power. Um, but I wouldn't sleep on the 40. I mean, at 180 grains, anywhere between 150 to 180 grains, um, it'll get the job done. Now, you lose capacity that you gain with the nine millimeter. Um, and I know some people say, you know, it doesn't really matter. Uh, kind of just, you know, shot placement plays a big factor on that. Um, although I agree with that to some extent, um, the speed of the round and the weight of the round um, can play a factor on travel beyond the target. And when we're talking about home defense, um, that could be pretty crucial. So this is the XD40 Springfield. All right, so with that being said, um, we talked about the SD SBR project, which we'll get out to the range tomorrow after we clean it today with some Vulcan carbon killer. Um, we talked about the XD40 from Springfield and I'd like to hear your guys' comments on how or what you think about the 40 Smith & Wes caliber and if you've had any personal experience with that, uh, personal or professional experience. Anybody who's been in the law enforcement field uh, for a long time may have some professional experience with the 40 as well. So that'll be interesting. Um, next week, I'd like to talk a little bit more about cartridges and how important that is for um, firearm and making sure you have the right cartridge for the job um, and specifically looking at uh, the differences again between 49 and 45 um, which is the most popular rounds for everyday carriers um, and then I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a history lesson um, for those who may not know or maybe know a little bit um, about cartridge head stamps um, and the variations and what information that can tell you and how important that is to picking uh, the right cartridge. So anyways, appreciate you guys uh, supporting me and stay tuned, new video next week along with some short video content on Instagram and Facebook of range time tomorrow. So all right, thank you, hashtag gundog.